Brian. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading down four. Nasdaq's up 29. S&P's uh, up 350. And yeah, you don't hear that growl because uh, my throat feels great. But uh, <laughs> uh, when you project it, it doesn't feel great. But anyway, that will be over. Every day it's getting better. Gold. Gold contract trading up by $4.80 at 1944 an ounce. We get uh, silver up 12 cents, $23.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 60 Five cents, ninety dollars twenty-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note up nine ticks, trading one hundred eight twenty-two. The thirty-year up twenty ticks at one sixteen twenty-nine. And king dollar, king dollar right now, trading up. Where are you? We died. There we. Come on, there we go, right there. Up one hundred ninety-seven ticks, trading one hundred five five sixty. Euro 106, yen trading at 148, and the British pound at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you came down hard yesterday with volume. You had a big expansion of volume. In the S&Ps case, what you did is you broke the swing, and you broke the swing with volume. And, you know, your next stop, this is like, you know, we always talk about three-decker houses. The bottom line is that, you know, you just basically went, you know, you broke through the floor. And so the next floor is laying down here at that 419, 420 area. That's how it's set up. Uh, you know, we had volume yesterday, as I said at the top of the show here today. Now, you're getting below that number today, but you don't really have an rejection of lower price, you know. You know, somewhat, yeah, you really don't. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust this one here today. You got to 430.55, and the swing point is the 433.01, and we're at 432.57. So you need, you need the rejection, then you got to get back inside this range. And if we go to the Qs, there's a different story inside the Qs now. The Qs are definitely more bullish than the S&Ps. So if you take a look at the Qs, you're going to see that the Qs never took out its swing. You know, we come down hard, gapped away. You know, you had uh, on a 70 million shares yesterday. That was going at the 61. You have only 37 today. Now, that, that could be that, okay, you're setting up an ABC structure down. Either way, I suspect more than likely, we're going to see the Qs basically go after the swing. And you know, we'll see how this shakes out. And it's all going to be, I'm going to do gold and everything else for you, too, but it's all about right here. This is just pretty amazing how the dollar is running, you know, they're running markets. And it makes sense, too, because, you know, everything's bought with a currency. And the bottom line is that the higher the currency gets, the stronger it gets, while the weaker everyone else's currency gets. And the, the number, you know, on the S&P 500, something like it's over like 50 percent earnings that come from overseas. So when this dollar gets strong like this, you know, bottom line, it's going to hit S&P numbers. So you can see, when you take a look at the, the way this is set up, you know, the, the magic number is 104.699. We're at 105.556. On Wednesday, we came down to that number. We got underneath that number and then said, see, you don't want to be you. Came all the way back up. Now, the last two days, it's messing around again, meaning, you know, these are both inverted hammers. So it's like, okay, those on, on council charting, candlestick charting, that, that, those are negatives. But the bottom line, we know that this thing is just plowed forward. And it's going to take quite a bit for that to get under this level. Because the buyers came in hand over fist on Wednesday when Powell came out with his speech at 2.30. Now, let's go take a look at the 10-year. Because the 10-year and the 30-year, they bro both broke their lows, they broke their swings. Out here today, what you have is you only have 121,000 contracts. So let's take a look at this. So I don't think we got to the low of yesterday, though. That's 108.08. Yeah, it's interesting. We didn't. So, so what happened yesterday, you get out, you get out to 108.08 yesterday, you did 2.16 million shares, contracts, rather. So, you only got to 108.09 today, and you've done 101.2 million contracts. It would have been better if that got under that number, because then that would be saying, okay, there's no more sellers left. That's not what that's saying right now. 
And then if we take a look at this and we put this on a much larger position calendar-wise, what you're going to see is that what we're looking for here, folks, when we're doing this, is that we're looking for the next swing point and where the some sort of support would be. So when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, we're back to 2007, 2008 numbers. We're below the number a year ago. And you're basically into, yeah, I mean, you know, this thing could get a 104. If it goes to 104, man, it's going to be pretty intense. If it goes to 104, you're talking about a 10-year that's going to be running at 6%. Now, the top of those levels are where we are kind of right now, the 108 to 109 level. So if we go like this, this is where this gets interesting. See, we're right there. And, you know, we'll see whether that's enough support or, in fact, What's going to happen is that it's going to blow this baby right through. And if we do take a look at the 30 and we do the same deal, and it's going to depend on, you know, the, well, of course, it's depending on the Fed and just how much they want to squeeze the economy. I think they have to squeeze the economy in order to shut down inflation. So if we take a look at the 30, what you're looking at, we're also back to the 2010 level. We're 116. Now, what happens here, yeah, see, this got a lot of support right where we are right here. 116, what is that, 115? It doesn't look to me. This, this got to be hard to break this level on, on the 30. I mean, if you do, if you do break the 114, then, <laughs> then what you do have game is 104, which would bring us back to uh, 2006 levels. So... And that's the game. The game, the game right now is all about interest rate structure. That's, that's, that's what's moving markets here. Because the rates not only went up, but they went up very quick. Now the market's saying, OK, are we going to go sideways? Are we going to get one more rate hike? And we're going to stay at that higher level for a longer period of time. You know, because what's going to make them go down? You know. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 51, NASDAQ's up 56, S&P's are up 12. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.